We will now access the Salesforce application by following the link provided beside the FOM data provider title. Enter your username and password into the fields provided on the login screen. You will be sent to the FOM application's homepage. You can also navigate to all other sections of the FOM app by clicking on the tabs in the navigation bar. From left to right, the tabs available in the navigation bar include the FOM Home tab. This is our current location and the default page that the FOM app will open to. The Accounts tab. On the Accounts page, you can view all VA accounts and navigate to those account pages. The Contacts tab. The Contacts page will contain a list of all of the FOM app users and their FOM app roles, as well as their contact information. The FOM Data Requests tab. This page will display all of the FOM data requests and their status. The Authority tab. On the Authority page, you'll find a listing of all existing authorities. The Business Reference Model tab. On the Business Reference Model tab, you'll find a listing of all business functions loaded into the Salesforce application. In addition to using the navigation bar to navigate the application, you can also use the Global Search field. Simply type in keywords such as Department of Veterans Affairs, and the search will bring up entries that include the searched words. In the upper right-hand corner of the screen, you will find your username with a drop-down menu containing settings and logout options. Let's look at the settings menu to review how to update your Salesforce password. Under security settings, you will pr be prompted to enter your current and new password. Remember, Salesforce passwords require 10 characters, at least one letter and one number. Now we will review the Accounts tab. In the context of the FOM app, an account represents a VA organization, and each organization has an account page that contains all the information present on the FOM app for that given organization. When you click on the Accounts tab in the navigation bar, you will be taken to the Account Summary page. From here, you will have several options on how you want to view the VA accounts within the FOM application. Let's choose the selection for VA organizations. This allows us to see all VA organizations in a tabular view. There are two types of office types in the FOM app. Every level one office will be designated as an administration slash staff office, and any level below one will be designated as an organization. To open an accounts page, simply click on the hyperlink provided or you can type the account name into the global search field. Let's walk through all of the details on an account page. Account name will represent the organization's long name. Parent account will represent the account that is directly responsible for the organization. Acronym is a place for you to enter your organization's acronym. Mail code should contain your organization's mail code. Levels to display in hierarchy is a field related to the FOM app's ability to generate organization charts. The number that is entered here will determine how many levels of the organization's hierarchy will be displayed in the FOM document. Org chart needed. If this box is checked, an org chart will be included in the FOM document with as many layers designated as listed in the levels to display in hierarchy field. The Create FOM Request field is used by the FOM Action Officer to send out FOM data requests and will be checked if a data request has been sent for that organization during the current fiscal year. The Office Type field we briefly hit on earlier. There are two types of office types in the FOM application. The Administration slash Staff Office type represents Level 1 VA offices. For example, VHA, NCA, Office of Management and Human Resources Administration are all Level 1 VA offices. All VA offices that are below Level 1 should be designated as organizations. The Active field designates an account as active by having Yes displayed or inactive by having No displayed. Having this information will enable us to be able to run reports that will display the offices that are currently active versus the ones that have been dissolved over a given period of time. Every VA organization will have a level designated. The levels are used to determine where within an organization a specific office resides. When you create a new account and designate a parent account, the level will automatically generate based on that parent. The account external ID is a Salesforce-generated field. 
When a new account is created, an account external ID will be assigned. This will ensure that the data associated with a particular office will always remain linked, even if the organization's name is changed. It will also allow us to run a report to understand organizational changes. For instance, if an organization is new versus if the name was just updated. The point of contact field should contain the organization's FOM point of contact. The internal and external URL fields are where you'll be able to link an internal or external organization URL. The account owner will be automatically generated by the system and will default to the Salesforce user that created the account. The details section contains the mission, overview, activities, and org chart image fields for the organization. Only a level one administration slash staff office is required to enter a mission statement. However, there is no harm in other level organizations documenting their mission in this field. The overview and activities sections are for level two and below. In other words, a level one administration slash staff office is not required to enter any information in these sections. The overview section provides a broad, high-level synopsis of the organization's purpose and functions, and the activities section of the FOM provides a high-level bulleted list of the organization's primary activities. It is best to limit this section to four to eight bullets. The org chart image field. If the FOM app generated org chart for the user's organization is not acceptable because the organization titles are too large for the formatted template size, the user should upload their own JPEG org chart image here. When a new account is created, the parent account is a mandatory field. From the parent account's information, the FOM application can automatically assign an organization's hierarchy. That hierarchy will appear here in the details page. Level zero will always be the Department of Veterans Affairs, with all successive levels related to the organization documented below. The program selection portion of the details section relates to the Office of Management's program list. The system information is system generated and contains information about the Salesforce user that originally created the account and the user that last modified the account. Now let's go over the relationship boxes at the bottom of the account page. If there are any FOM data requests against the organization, they will appear here under the FOM data request box, along with their current status. The authority junction box is where you will associate any laws, regulations, policies, and or directives that are associated or attributed to your organization. To create an association, select the New button. In the Authority field, select the Search button. Search for the authority you would like to map to your organization. For instance, if you want to map USC Title 38, Part 3, simply type into the search feature and the authority will generate. Select USC Title 38, Part 3, and then select Save. The association you just created will now appear under the Authority Junction box. You can edit and delete that association by clicking on the Edit and Delete hyperlink beside the authority. If the authority you are searching for is not already loaded into Salesforce, you will need to have your FOM POC create the record before the, creating the association. The Business Function Junction box works similar to the Authority Junction. In order to select the business functions that your organization performs, select the Doom button. You'll then be prompted to choose which kind of association you would like to make, an organization to business function association or an authority to business function association. The organization to business function association is when you're relating an authority directly to your organization. The authority to business function association helps you to create an association between an authority requirement and a business function. For example, Title 38 mandates that the VA provide educational services to veterans. This authority would map to the business function provide education services in the BRM. After you select the organization to business function choice, you will be able to use the business function lookup box to search for the function you would like to relate to your organization. But before you begin searching, it would be helpful to have a copy of the business reference model. An updated copy is available on the FOM SharePoint site. Also, you can follow the URL provided under the Business Reference Model Training heading to access the BRM 101 training video. 
The Office of Enterprise Integration is also available to provide aid and assistance for linking your organization to the proper business functions. Information on how to reach the Office of Enterprise Integration is available under the Other Resources tab on the FOM SharePoint site. If you already know the functions that should link to your organization, search for a keyword or the specific business function within the Business Function Lookup field. For instance, if your organization provides financial training, you can type finance training into the search field and business function number 33541, conduct finance training, will populate. Select the business function and hit the save button. You can repeat this process to relate as many business functions that your organization performs as necessary. The cost center association box is used to relate the organization with the appropriate cost centers. Select the Doom button to begin the association. Type in your cost center code, a brief description, identify if the cost center is a payroll cost center by either checking the box if it is or keeping the box unchecked if it is not. And lastly, designate the fiscal year and select save. The acronym box is an important one that shouldn't be ignored. If you use any acronyms in your office's overview, mission statement, list of activities, etc., this is where you would define those acronyms. To create a new acronym, select the New button. Let's say you're with the Veterans Health Administration and you use VHA in your FOM write-up. To enter VHA, you would type VHA into the acronym field and then Veterans Health Administration into the definition field. Ensure that your office is displayed in the office field and then select Save. If you need to edit or delete an acronym that you've already created, simply click on the acronym name and choose either the Edit or Delete button to complete this task. Now let's move on to the Contacts tab. FOM contacts are profiles of individuals who participate in the FOM update process, either as POC or data provider for an organization, or as an action officer or administrator for the enterprise. Similar to the Accounts tab, if you want to view an individual's contact page, you can click on the hyperlink of their name, or you can use the global search field to search for that contact. Let's move on to the FOM Data Request tab. FOM Data Request will be issued by the Office of Enterprise Integration and will require you to update your organization's FOM information. A FOM Data Request is updated in a two-step process. To complete the FOM data request, you will need to change the view option on the FOM data request page to My FOM Data Requests. Then select the FOM Data Collection ID link to the organization that you would like to update. You will then be taken to the organization summary page where you will be able to review the information that is already recorded in the current FOM. If you need to make changes to your FOM information, you will select the Edit button Select yes if your organization's details have changed. Set the request status to in progress. If you are updating a record for an administration slash staff office, you will have to update the mission field, the overview field, and the activities field. If you're updating the record for a VA organization, you will have to update the overview and activities fields. Once you have updated the details section, you will move on to the programs section of the record. Under the Administration slash Staff Office dropdown, you will need to select the Administration slash Staff Office that applies to your organization. After you select the Administration slash Staff Office, you will have program options to select from under the Programs field. Please note that this program section of the FOM data collection is not mandatory. Once you have your information updated, you can save the record. You will then navigate to the account page to update the organization relationships. We have already covered updating this area of the FOM application, so we will not go over these updates again. But feel free to review those sections in the training videos if necessary. After you have the relations updated, you will need to notify the FOM POC that you have completed the update. To do this, open the data collection record. Select Edit. Change the request status to Draft Completed, and select Save. 
Once you have selected Save, the FOM POC will be notified that your updates are complete and will obtain the necessary approvals to complete the FOM update. This concludes the FOM training video for the role of FOM Data Provider. If you have any questions regarding the functionality of the FOM application, there are user guides available on the FOM SharePoint site.